Today's video is sponsored by Wait, did you really think I got a sponsor like? <laughs> Psych. So before we get into this video, please. Now I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. I know you will. Let me give a bit of foreshadowing here, if I may call it that. Today's review is about a Korean Vietnam movie I came across. And I'll be honest, I only decided to watch this movie because of one person. My favorite character from Train to Busan and for reasons beyond my control, I won't attempt to mention his name. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever watched a movie and come out thinking that was time well spent? Like, you really have no regrets whatsoever. This is that kind of movie. So The Roundup is a sequel to 2017's The Outlaws, which I haven't watched yet. I'll add that to my throwback series watch list. Yeah. I'll start a new series called the throwback series where I review old movies and somewhat old movies that you may have missed. So check it out when it comes. Let me give the simplified version of the plot. So our hero and biscop Ma, yeah, we'll call him Ma and his captain four years after the events that unfolded in the outlaws movie have travel have to travel to Vietnam to repatriate a fugitive who fled Korea, well, South Korea, finding it odd that an escaped fugitive will willingly turn himself in to the police and ask to be returned to the country he fled. Ma and his captain investigate and uncover crimes committed by a terrifying killer named Kang. Ma and his unit coordinate their investigation across two countries as they try to bring Kang to justice. That's the plot. Now, if I was to categorize this movie under some genre, I'd say it's a crime action drama thriller with a good sense of humor. Like, not too much that it undermines the seriousness of the plot, but just right that it keeps the audience attention refreshed from time to time. I mean, I know some of you are going to say, yeah, but you have to read subtitles and it's stressful and they don't have it in english dub nigga please sub over dub any day and if you can't read then you just say that that's a different issue so my thoughts on the movie i think i can do this in one take ready all right let's go so this movie further stresses my stance on the fact that asian cinema has a very strong claim to the action drama flex we all know how good their TV shows are, especially with their soap operas. The ladies can attest to that. The guys can also attest to them being pretty good at their action sequences. You put both of them together with a convincing crime story and the cast so good that they deliver on every single line and action and expression. I mean, you legit feel the movie and actually recording this, and I'm actually recording this right after seeing the movie so i'm just channeling every emotion that i felt coming out of the movie no negatives to talk about all pros no cons i honestly wish you would take my word for it and just watch this movie if you don't like it i'll settle the cost for your internet or movie ticket granted you can give me a solid reason for not liking it none of that it's not my kind of movie jive we don't do that here so, also, I strongly advise against watching with kids. There's a whole lot of stabbing and hacking in this movie. Like, it's not gory, but you don't want your kids watching such violence. Not sure if it's R-rated, but whatever it is, it works for me. And without thinking it through, I'm just going to go with my feeling, my gut, and just say I'm giving this a solid 9 out of 10. I don't know how I'll feel about it tomorrow, but today, yeah, it's a 9 out of 10. Thank you for joining me. Check out our other videos on the channel. 
subscribe if you haven't already and do turn on the bell notification to be notified when i post that will be all for today catch you on the next one peace